and welcome to part 5 of our series of support videos for Bootsoft Finance 2018. Without much ado, uh, let's start the software. Bootsoft Finance 2018 has a very beautiful splash screen with several major currencies on it, as you can see here. Now we do have our software up and running on our desktop and this is Windows 10. This software would also run on the Microsoft Cypress Pro tablet running Windows 10. Okay, so we do have um, the welcome message from Bootstrap founder and CEO Yao Boachi Yadom. To take you on this tour is Yao Boachi Yadom himself. Um, well, you can see the photograph here. As we go along, I'll be zooming in and out just to make um, just to magnify text and graphics okay so let's close okay now uh, this is the home screen of Bootsoft Finance 2018 we already have a file loaded so you could also call this the account screen today we'll begin by talking about accounts I'm going to tell you the various kinds of accounts that can be created, what we what you can do with them. We have already selected our banks, so this is the banking center with uh, our frequently used financial institutions, their addresses, phone numbers, and websites. Now, to access the account screen at any time, uh, we click Accounts, which is the first button on the toolbar. Okay. Now, as you can see, when you create a new file, uh, a new account is automatically created for you. This is the investment account. This is an investment account. It's called Investments to Watch. Now, when you click on the portfolio screen, uh, well, you will see some indexes, some indices, such as Standard & Poor's 500, the NASDAQ Composite Index, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Okay, so you can see them here. Now let's go back to our account screen. The default account that is automatically created with you is associated with all those indices. Standard and Poor's 500, Dow Jones Industrial Average, and the NASDAQ Composite Index. So as we have it now, we do not have any accounts. Okay. Now, this is the account screen. You can see some buttons on the left panel. So this is the left panel, and you can see a number of buttons. New, Edit, Delete, Download Rates, Display Register, Online Banking, Show Actual Balance. I'm going to explain each of these buttons. New is used to create new accounts. You use the Edit button to edit an account. Just select the account here from the account screen, click Edit. Delete is used to delete an account. Download rates is used to download exchange rates, currency exchange rates, including cryptocurrencies. Display register displays the register of the selected account. You could also do the same thing by double clicking the particular account 
online banking online banking takes you to the website or the financial institution associated with a particular account you could also do the same thing from the register of the particular account then there's the show actual balance button um well i will give you an explanation but it might be difficult for you to understand it now when you create a savings goal when savings goal deductions are made they are virtual deductions what it does mean is that money isn't actually deducted from your account the deductions are virtual so as you save the balances of your various accounts associated with the savings goals will shrink okay but in actual fact money hasn't left your account so to display the actual balances ignoring all savings goal transfers you just check this button show actual balance okay uh, you can now check it so that is the purpose of this uh, button now let us begin by downloading some exchange rates uh, okay so we do have uh well what is it in the demo version you can download up to three currency exchange rates at a particular time okay so we're going to download only three exchange rates now our base currency is the united states dollar so you click ok uh so um okay we're gonna select the currencies to download all right we're gonna download the euro okay so scroll down okay Ghanaian city and the South African Rand. Okay, so to download them, we just click OK. Uh, our internet connection is active. So it says updating currencies. Just exercise patience and uh, the currencies will be downloaded. okay now it says download complete so we are done uh, downloading our exchange rates okay we'll download some more exchange rates okay now this time uh we're going to download uh the australian dollar we're going to download exchange rates for australian dollar Canadian dollar and the Mexican peso.
Again, we click OK. We exercise patience as a software downloads our currencies. Okay, so we could go on and on and on. Uh, well, next we'll download a uh, British pound, Russian ruble, Japanese yen, Chinese one, or maybe. Okay, uh, but let's well just continue just for the sake of time. Okay. Okay, now. So, well, if you do not have an active internet connection, you can still enter uh, the exchange rates manually. You just go to tools, click exchange rates, then uh, the exchange rate screen comes up. Okay. Okay, so you see we download Australian dollar. It says here uh, Australian dollar per US dollar. Or we could also view it US dollar per Australian dollar. Okay. British pound okay now whatever currency you want to download uh, well I think the Zimbabwean dollar is no longer on. well let's just use it whatever currency you want to download well you just select it uh, enter it here you know us dollar per zimbabwean dollar okay that is uh if you take one zimbabwean dollar how much would it be in us dollars okay or you can select here zimbabwe dollar per us dollar uh this means if you take one us dollar how much would it be in zimbabwean dollars okay so now uh well uh we we are done for uh okay downloading our exchange rates we do have our financial institutions. So now let's begin uh, by uh, creating our accounts. So we begin, uh, we click new, and then uh, new account screen comes up. Okay. So uh, you have name of account, account type, the bank, account number, starting balance, currency notes. Uh, this is for bank accounts now what types of accounts can we have okay uh, now if you go to account type uh, uh, yeah, yes you, you click the button you can see we got a bank account we could have a credit card account use a cash account investment account and then you know loans uh, all kinds of loans uh, including mortgages okay so uh, now the default is bank account okay now what let's when we select credit card account uh, this is what you see uh, you see uh in addition to everything we said the card number the initial debt the currency annual interest rates monthly spending limit daily spending limit okay notify me when their monthly spending exceeds okay uh, this is to help you uh manage your credit card uh to help you stay within your credit limits then we have cash accounts use this for all accounts that aren't in financial institutions okay uh, 
then okay then you could also have an investment account and then a loan account okay so well let's begin by creating our first one uh, let's create a bank account okay now our bank account okay so uh let's just give it any name any meaningful name so we'll call it extra one okay it's a bank account so then we select the bank well financial institutions extra one is located at uh well well it's well our bank is what city bank extra bank city bank okay well we won't enter anything here but i'll enter the starting balance uh which is uh, fifty thousand us dollars the currency is us dollars you can select any currency from here okay then your notes a memo well something that uh will help you remember what you set the account for what you forgot whatever use the notes fill for anything that you want when you're done click okay so we have our first bank account you can see bank account extra the balance of fifty thousand us dollars okay now we're going to create another account this one is also going to be a bank account denominated in us dollars so we give it a name um uh picture one okay it's a bank account and the bank uh select zion's bank so okay we're not going to enter the account number here starting balance uh hundred thousand us dollars okay uh it's the current us dollars so we're going to leave it this way okay uh so now you see uh as you enter well it tells you the total so now we do have what one fifty thousand dollars for bank accounts zero for investment accounts and the grand total 150 us dollars okay now we're going to create another account new account this one is a foreign bank account okay uh okay so we'll call it this one plan tropy one account is a bank account not located in the united states so it's denominated in another currency altogether as the ghanaian city so we're going to select uh, the city from here okay now let's go up uh so yes it's that it, it's in ghanaian cities and uh it's uh five hundred thousand ghanaian cities and the name of the bank uh well it's a foreign bank it's not in our financial institutions this but we'll enter it here anyway and it will be created it will be added to our list of financial institutions okay so we have and okay let me click okay fine now you see philanthropy one the currency is what the ghanaian city okay so we do have well this we're going to use it for some philanthropic work uh in africa okay so now 
you can see that the total for our bank account is not six hundred and fifty thousand dollars this is because of exchange rates so hundred thousand uh, our base currency is the united states dollar uh the currency well so the first account hundred thousand second account fifty thousand dollars okay but five hundred thousand because we downloaded the exchange rates right it has been converted to our base currency okay so it was converted to our base currency okay so now uh all our bank account together are worth $262,829.38. So we have created bank accounts. Now, uh, let's create... Uh, okay, now we're going to create an account. Uh, name of account. Well, why don't we use the CEO's name? Okay, so this is uh, this is a credit card account. Well, we're gonna use it like a credit. Well, it's a credit card account. Okay, so we just created a, card, a credit card account. Now, bank uh, or financial institution. Well, let's type Pioneer incorporated now uh initial debts were okay so initial debt is uh zero okay so well it's a credit card account well let's just leave it here uh this way no debts okay now uh daily spending limit is two thousand dollars uh monthly spending limit annual percentage rates uh let's leave it about 10 okay don't worry about these figures uh let's just see for demonstration purposes now we want a software to notify us when our monthly spending exceeds uh ten thousand uh dollars okay the current the base currency is the us dollar so we have created a credit card account okay so uh this is the credit card account here Okay, but uh, let's see. Now we do have a safe in our home with cash. So uh, we're gonna select credit. Uh, well, cash account. Okay, it's not in any financial institution, so we're gonna leave this blank. Uh, no account number and the balance the currency is uh well the safe well we're keeping some pesos Okay, so we do have about 200,000 Mexican pesos uh, in our SIF, in our first SIF. Uh, okay, so uh, see, SIF, uh, well, it's actually SIF, so we're going to call it SIF 1. So to edit it, we just click edit. And then we come here, we type SIF1. So now you see another section has been created, cash accounts, 200,000 Mexican pesos. 
it's equal to ten thousand nine hundred and seventy eight dollars ninety five cents uh we're in 2018 right uh so uh we do have two hundred thousand mexican pesos in our first safe <laughs> we do have several safes you know uh in our second safe we use cash accounts for all that second safe uh, well, select cash accounts. It's not a bank account. Uh, we do have what? Canadian dollars. Uh, well, so we just have some 20,000 Canadian. Okay. What well, has been converted? So our cash accounts now. Uh, to uh, what twenty six thousand four hundred ninety six dollars Canadian dollars forty five cents. Okay, so this is CAD Canadian, and then we do also have some American dollar in our, our safe in our third uh, safe. Uh, no, we just keep fifteen grand. Oh, account name already exists. So an account name has to be unique. Okay. So let's save three, uh, 15 grand. Uh, we did make a mistake. We didn't. Uh, where did it go? To? Oh, it's save three. We did not. Uh, it's in a bank account. It is not a bank account. So we change it to world cash accounts. And then we click OK. We did that by just clicking edit. Okay, so now all together, the money in our safe is worth $41,496.45. Okay, so uh, uh, this is our account. Now you can see. Now, what is the grand total? We're going to look at the grand total of all our accounts. Okay, so these are our bank accounts. Picture to, uh, well, these are our credit card accounts. Well, we, we are not in debt. These are our cash accounts. Okay. Uh. So now what is the ground to tell? So Altogether, we have $304,325.83. And it's do not, uh, well, it's been shown in our base currency, which is the United States dollar. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to do some things. Uh, well, make sure you update your currencies frequently. Now, we can visit the websites of our accounts by just simply clicking uh, the account and then clicking online banking. So we're going to click the online banking button. So we select an extra one. We're going to visit the websites because we want to download. Uh, some transactions and import them uh, manually instead of directing them straight to the software. We also want to do some other things. Uh, we need not worry about uh, the bank associated with the account. You know, just clicking on online banking will take us straight uh, 
to, to reach. So you can see now it's, it's trying to take us to uh, City Bank in our browser. You can see uh, City Bank online city.com login do okay so uh, it's taking us there uh, looks like it's taking a while so we're gonna go back to our software now we also want to visit the website for Patriot one uh, okay so uh, you can see it, it it is going there now what is it zion's bank okay so it, uh, the button has taken us straight to our uh okay so we are now at Zion's Bank online portal, you know. So we could just log in, download and import transactions into our software. Okay. Now that's the Citibank. Uh, the first one okay we selected for our account okay so uh, that just tells you that you can uh, visit your accounts simply by clicking what uh, the button okay well uh, as you can see we do have um, our accounts here ready okay uh, we'll talk about loan accounts later um, right now we're going to go into the registers of the various accounts now to visit or display any of the registers right just select the account click display register or just double click on the particular account okay so we're going to begin uh, by viewing the register for the picture to one account okay so this is the register for the account you can see here it has a top panel okay so this is the top panel for the register well, picture two and, uh, well, there's an evaluation version, okay? It shows today's balance and the ending balance of this account. We do have buttons add for adding transactions, delete for deleting transactions, edit for editing transactions. Then you use the reconcile button to reconcile an account, okay? Now use the hide reconciled to hide all reconciled accounts. Use the find button to find to locate a particular transaction. Then you can click online banking to visit the website of the financial institution associated with this account okay now in the register screen uh well you, we do have a number of columns the first one is num for check numbers or transaction numbers dates the date on which a transaction took place payee well the person you paid it to the category the category assigned to a particular transaction the c field will display the status well uh, it will uh, c means it's uh has been cleared uh, by the bank. E means it was imported, an electronic transaction. And R means that it, it has been reconciled. 
So this is for withdrawals, these are for deposits, and this shows uh, the balance of an account. Okay. So this is the register for a bank account. The register for a, a cash account isn't so different. Okay. Uh, now, this is the register for a credit card account. So this is a, a credit card and this is the register. So it does have uh, those very buttons I talked about, but instead of withdrawal here, we have charge, charges. Each time you charge your uh, account, it appears here, credit, you know, each time you credit your account, and there's a balance. Now also on the rightmost panel, it, it shows uh, some facts or some information about your credit card accounts. It shows the annual interest rates or annual percentage rates, monthly spending limits, daily spending limits, and you know it says here each month notify after. If you want the software to notify you when um, expenditure for a month exceeds a particular amount, uh, it, uh, well, uh, it will be displayed here. Well, this is important since uh, most credit cards do have a monthly spending limit. Okay, now uh, to go back to accounts, we just click account. Now we're going to show the register. The register for an investment account. Uh, we did not create a uh, well. Let's uh, quickly with uh, this our investment account. The default one, investments to watch. We're going to use the, the def This is the register for an investment account. The regular register. An investment account also has a, a, a cash register, a register similar to the one we had before. Now I'm going to zoom in on it. Uh, so on the top panel, we do have cash balance account value, the value of the investment account. Now there's a the add button uh, to add uh, an investment transaction. There's delete, there's edit, find next, and cash transactions. Okay, now over here uh, in the grid, uh, you do have the date, the date the investment transaction took place, the particular investment. Okay, you may have several investments associated for uh, with an investment account, such as you know stocks, mutual fund. You may have a Microsoft. You might have Microsoft stocks. You know your portfolio. I um, mean, Microsoft stocks, you may have um, Facebook stocks, you know, and so on. Okay, so the investment will show you the particular um, portfolio associated with the transaction, then the activity. Did you buy? Did you sell? Did you? Uh, is it a dividend uh, that you were recording? Did you reinvest dividend? You know, and so on. The quantity, the price, and the total. So this is the register for an investment account. So, but like I said, investments also do have the regular accounts. To go to the regular accounts, you click cash transactions. Okay. But do use bank accounts and other accounts for all uh, the uh, finances related to an investment account. Okay, while well, you could use uh, uh, what's it called, you, you could use the investment account for that very purpose. Okay, now let, let's quickly uh, enter some transactions. Okay, we, uh, so we're going to use the Patriot One account. Okay, so to add a transaction, we click Add. Okay, now that brings up the new transaction dialog box. Here, over here, uh, well, we see at uh, the type of the transaction, 
Okay, so this is a new transaction dialog box appearing on our desktop. Okay, so we have here the type of is it a withdraw? Are you withdrawing? Are you depositing? Are you transferring funds between accounts? Okay, so this is the account, uh, then the payee, you know, so just view, well, just like a check, you know, you write in a check. So this is the payee, uh, the check number, the dates, the amount, uh, what has it been cleared? Well, okay, so uh, let's just enter a few. Then this is a uh, category. So this is our bank, and we write in, uh, this is a bank transaction. Okay, so we're gonna report some transactions. Uh, the first one is going to go to a school, uh, school okay? Uh, so let's call it. So uh, we created a new PE, Immaculate Conception Girls School. Okay, uh, you can use the drop down button to select uh, the other PEs. We don't have any PEs, so this is our new one. Whatever you enter here will be created. Okay, uh, the date, well, it's today. Well, check number, mm, let's add this. This is our check number. Uh, and um, the amount, okay, so we're paying something like. Uh, Three thousand dollars to Immaculate Conception. It hasn't been cleared. Category. Okay. Now, uh, you can see the list of categories. Uh, is is it, well bills. Okay. So we're gonna go to uh, uh, what's it called? This is what education. Uh, maybe well. So education related okay so we just write education fees uh or education books so let's leave it there fees so we have assigned a category to word a transaction you know may have several sub components you may want to split it okay in that case use a split button and enter uh uh, it there when you're done you click okay and then what do we have so we do have our first our very first transaction uh, which is a withdrawal okay so uh, uh, so we wrote a check uh, on April 3rd well the PE market conception girl school uh, category education it has not been cleared but well, it's a withdrawal now that leaves our balance at what well, ninety seven thousand. Okay, so uh, the initial balance was hundred thousand. It's gone down, right? Now, so we're gonna go to our uh, next. Well, we are depositing some funds. Okay, uh, so uh, the funds. Well, let's call it a gift. So we select deposit because we are depositing. And then, uh, well, what kind of what's the category? Uh, it's an income category. It is not well. Let's say we received. Uh, okay, it's at, it's an other income. Uh, so it's a gift. You know, someone gave us a gift, a gift of thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, well, we we're gonna well friend. So let's call our friend Mister. Well, so it's a gift uh, we received from. Uh, okay, let's call him Mister. Good. Okay, so Mister. Good gave us. A gift uh, now we don't have the details so we're gonna leave that blank okay so I'm just demonstrating it so we do have uh, our second transaction so I just demonstrated uh, what withdrawal 
uh, there's a deposit so this one 98,000 okay you can always edit it by double clicking it okay so uh, this is our register okay now uh, but we next we want to transfer some funds from our account to our philanthropy accounts in uh, Ghana West Africa okay Echo Bank a Ghanaian city so we click add then we select what transfer because we're transferring funds right so transfer because we're transferring funds now this is from our account Patriot now we've got to select our second account uh, it's it's called philanthropy one philanthropy one okay now since it is a transfer well we're not going to categorize it we don't categorize transfers we only categorize withdrawals and deposits okay so uh we're transferring money now this is the dates okay now because the accounts are denominated in two different currencies you see a second box so we're just transferring ten thousand uh dollars okay now here because we have two different currencies because we've updated or downloaded our exchange rate it shows the exchange rate between the united states dollar and the Ghanaian city one us dollar is four point four three uh, cities or four cities 43 passwords okay so there's the amount okay and then we just click okay and it will be transferred okay so uh, it appears here now we see our three transactions okay so it, uh, it will appear under withdrawals because the money is going out of our account ten thousand so now that leaves the balance of our account at what eighty-eight thousand. I like I always we we press Control S to save, or we can do that. Go to File, Save. Until you save it, uh, uh, you know, uh, it wouldn't be uh, saved. It isn't saved automatically for a reason. Okay. Uh, well, so you you would have to save it. The software does prompt you to save it before you leave it. Okay. Now we can run reports and do all that. Okay. So we have had some transactions. Now let's go to our account screen and see uh, uh, our finances. So now the balance for our Patriot is now at 88,000 US dollars. Okay. Now philanthropy, the money has gone to philanthropy is 44 okay so we just transferred funds we've spent and that that, that is uh well this is how our account is appearing now now uh it the others isn't so different this is it isn't so different for credit card it isn't so different for cash accounts okay so today we are not going to create a savings goal um the this is it so uh we're just going to create uh, like I said, saving goals are what are virtual transfers. Okay, psychologically they help you to save by reducing the balance of your account. When you create a savings goal, you know you make a savings goal transfer. Let's say you're saving for vacation. Each time a savings goal transfer uh, takes place, the balance of your account reduces okay but in actual fact the amount of money in the bank account hasn't moved out but psychologically it keeps you in check because uh you will see a lower figure you know when you look at the bank balance okay now what to display or we go to show actual balances now that we've entered some transactions why uh, we uh, let's just go to the reporting center and run a report okay so we have run a report okay now we have spent 
So from the beginning of the month today, we want to see spending by categories. Okay, and we do have it here. So all our expenditure went to education bills. Well, you do recall, we just entered one transaction. So 100% education bills. And all our income well, was uh, came from more gifts, other income gifts. Okay, so it isn't really helpful. We can view account transactions. So income and spending, we spent 3,000. And I will spend what? Uh, we we and receive thousand. Okay. So for this month, we spent more than we received. So the difference is what two thousand. You know, it's negative. The brackets means that it's what negative. Okay. So. Now, this brings us to the end of part five of our series of videos. And my name is Yao Boachi Yadam, the founder and CEO of Bootsoft. Well, I just took you on a tour of Bootsoft Finance 2018. Thank you.